Hello, in this presentation, I want to explain you, how to fix broken links to documents, after moving the file from one drive to another. In the left temp folder, on C drive, in the document list Excel file, I will add hyperlinks to all files and folders, contained in test folder. First, I will open document list Excel file. The links to all the files and folders in that path, are generated automatically by running a macro, as you can see. If I test them, the links are working, as you can see. Next, I will save and close the file. Next, I will move the file from one drive to another one, and then open it. I will test now the hyperlinks if they are still working. But they are not working, because as you can see, they were modified. If I select edit hyperlink, the text to display is now different than the link address. In usual way, you'll have to either fix them manually or write a program to do it. And then the same thing could happen again, anyway. A hyperlink base, is the path that is shared by the file that contains the hyperlink and the destination file. In the hyperlink base box, type the path that you want to use for all the hyperlinks that you create in this document. Next, save the file and return to document. Now, all the links are fixed and working, as you can observe. If I'll close the file with saving, the links will work at file reopen. If not, the issue remains. Next, I'll show you a macro that can change hyperlink base as needed. First, see that the links are broken and the hyperlink base field is empty. Next, put in cell B4 the right hyperlink base path. Then, push change hyperlink base button. Now all hyperlinks are fixed, and the hyperlink base field is automatic filled in, with the path from cell B4. The code behind this button, is simple as you can see. You can use a cell reference like B4, or in green, the desired path, both variants are working. Suppose the user saves this file, and then emails it someone else in the organization, or copies it to his or her local hard drive. If the file is on an company server or network place, same as the files and folders linked, is better to find the real server name, as ghd123 for example, instead of drive s, in order to avoid other issues, regarding same name as local unit s if there is one. I hope I'll clarify, how to use and avoid further issues regarding to file path. 